What's up guys? It's Emmanuel with another video. I'm in my car because I just went to a meeting, um, a business meeting, but I just want to record this quick video and it's raining, you know, it's raining outside, beautiful rain, but I wanted to record this quick video just because I think, you know, I'm going to title this something like solopreneur. I want to record this video because I'm learning to manage people and I want to share my message of you know, how I'm learning to manage people, how I'm learning to build a team. Um, because I think a lot of people, you know, are like myself, like in the beginning, you know, you think that you can do everything or, you know, you think that maybe solopreneur is the best. And I'm not saying it's, you know, any, there's anything wrong, right, with being a solopreneur or just doing everything on your own. But I think there's a lot of value to building a team, managing people. There's a lot to be learned. Um, so kind of taking a quick backstory um, of, you know, my journey, right? So I always have been technically a solopreneur with a couple contractors here and there, but mostly managing everything by myself. And, you know, yes, you are in control of everything, but, you know, there's no real scalability from that. I think you know, managing the team, build, uh, you know, getting people on, on your team and managing them, like, it just allows you to do much, much more. And, you know, there's many, many reasons, but that's one of, one of you know, one of the main ones. Um, and, uh, and I think I'm just, like, trying to reiterate the importance of it because, you know, before, like, when I was starting out, I thought I was just gonna do it all my, do it, do everything by myself. But you know, the case is that you really need other people, and there's many reasons. For example, like you know, bringing people on, you know, can have different skill sets than you, right? So, for example, if you're introverted like myself, and you bring on someone that is extroverted and and, and works at the sales of your business, then that's kind of that's that's really helpful right so not only that you know you bring in someone else that has you know other and complements other skills that you may not have and that just makes a, a you know a powerhouse of a, of a team and a, and a business right and then the other thing is like maybe you do have those skills right but you're not exceptional at them probably right maybe um so for example my on my case right i always mention like I've always done video editing. I've always been decent at video editing, but I haven't been the best at video editing, right? So now that we're, you know, I partnered with a company recently, you know, we hired our first editor and he's much, much better than I am. So, you know, managing him and managing just bringing that that level of talent to the team has just been so beneficial for, for the whole company and and for the for the brands right so that's kind of another thing is like people have different skills and they have much better skills a lot of the time and you know you will just improve your work by by bringing on people that are better better skilled than you um you know another thing why i, I really you know think you know the process of management and building a team is so important is because like you know when i was doing everything by myself there's really n nobody to celebrate the wins with um but now it's like i'm realizing that you know building a team has so much value for example the company that i partner with they have a pretty pretty sizable team and they have a pretty enthusiastic team right so whenever you know something good happens they're celebrating as a team and i think there's so much value to that um as opposed to you know if it's if you're a solopreneur with maybe a couple contractors that you're not so close with you know you don't really have that celebration that you know that that you know you cohesiveness of a team right and that cohesiveness of a team also shows in the work right the work is much better um but yeah that's another thing that's like um, the icing on the, on the cake i guess you know it's having that team when there's the ups or maybe when then you know when there's the downs Maybe there's someone to help you out there. So I think there's so much value in building a team and like growing, you know, growing from just being a solopreneur to an actual 
business owner, like uh, to an actual entrepreneur. And like I keep mentioning, building that team is so key for many, many reasons. But that's just me rambling on my thoughts today. This quick, you know, quick video. Hopefully, you know, go out there and build a team perhaps. Um, and yeah, just keep growing your business. And that's pretty much it for this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.